Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel, it's Belinda here. I've been playing around with a little bit of an idea and I'm going to bring you along on this make. So today it's a trifold tag idea and it's using a large book page. So I'm using an encyclopedia, you know these book pages that tend to be quite large. We harvest them for various pictures and things and then you've got a bunch of pages that you kind of wonder what on earth am I going to do with them because they're big, there's nothing on them that you want to use. Sometimes I'll keep areas of patterned colour for collage but other times it's just like it's just another page hanging around which I can't immediately see a use for. So we're using those sorts of pages that perhaps are you know, just accumulating and we don't want to throw them out but we don't know what to do with them. So first up I'm going to fold roughly into thirds. Now I want the front third to not be as wide. Um, so I've made a prototype here. So this front one needs to be short a bit. So not complete thirds. So I'm going to just do a wee check here. If it ends up being complete thirds, you can always trim a bit off to make it not a complete third. But folding it nice and wide on that first fold. And then on this one, you don't need to go right up to this page here. In fact, it's better if you don't quite. So no real measurements. Um, this one is not as close to the edge as this one is. And that is fine. Probably preferable for what I want to do. Now I left the jagged edge because for one it doesn't fit in my wee cutter here, my wee guillotine in its full height. So once it's folded I can then go in and chop it down to whatever height I like. And I'm just kind of choosing a height that looks proportional, give or take, so that the dimensions of the tag look pretty okay so it's quite a chunky little tag or a chunky big tag now I also had a play with how to do the corners the tag corners using the guillotine I did find a way it's I'll show you and then you make up your mind whether it's just no that's too too complicated or like too iffy so first off I I've chosen the three inch mark and I line the top corner with my three inch and the bottom corner so direct diagonal so as you manipulate it into a room sometimes you have to tweak because one end will swing out a bit and you could do it maybe I want to do it like two and a half and three let's do it different let's do two and a half at the top the other one I did three and three so let's do two and a half and three on this just to see what the difference is and we've got an angle here. The tricky part is when you flip it over to do the same thing you can line up the bottom on the three as good as gold but we've lost our corner here for measuring where the two and a half is. So I kind of just eyeballed it and thought well it's probably going to be about the middle isn't it? I don't know it might not be but that's what I'm going with. Um, and you can always take your corner and do a little check and know that seems a bit too much. And this isn't a good one to check on because this is shorter. Um, yeah, no, I'm not going to do it. It works fine on the other one. It actually worked okay, but I think because I've changed the measurements for this one, it's um, it's I'm finding it harder to kind of match the angle. So I'm just going to chop this side with the scissors. So I kind of half showed you. Waste of time, perhaps, but never mind. <laughs> it's what you get on a video. It just as it happens. Right. So we have our tag shaped tag, trifold tag. That's what we're making. So I'm going to grab back my prototype because I've already inked around all this one and this one obviously is not so we'll work with this one. I don't 
see that I get more than one made in, in a video. So I'm going to line it with writing paper and I've chosen this grid paper, math grid paper, which I've coffee dyed. And that's going to be my writing paper. So I'm just going to measure each panel, like, well, not measure, but like just work out where I need to trim it. So there. And I'm actually going to just tear that down. handy working with grid paper because you've got the grid there to tell you whether you're straight or not. So you could wait and do your tag shaping after you've done your lining paper. Um, some ways that's a lot easier. But I'm just I'm just going with the flow. I don't mind doing the shapes after making the you know, doing all the different angles. I don't mind. Just going to use that grid line there to go across. So I'm just popping it on top and then eyeballing it and tearing. For me, it's just the easiest way to do these things because it's as accurate as it needs to be. It doesn't need to be any precision work here just has to be close enough and this is a shorter angle here because it doesn't go the full width so it may look a bit funny when you fold it out but it's all good because when you fold it up fold it all together this bit here it's only got the short angle because it doesn't extend all the way down to there that's what I'm talking about in case I was very <laughs> unclear in what I was saying I suspect I was okay and I'm just going to use tacky glue because it's quick and it's easy and it's no mess no mess no fuss and that's my kind of jam right now is let's not get to icky, sticky, if at all possible. But glue stick is a great, great thing to use as well. I just quite literally cannot be bothered right now. And I have a feeling I've been saying that a lot lately about the old glue stick. I love glue stick. It's great. But I tend to not like it now on camera. I've just kind of abandoned it in many respects on camera. But not abandoned in my craft room. Now I've put this on upside down. <coughs> and that's okay. It was supposed to be the other way around. So my angles here don't match. Never mind. Like I said, it doesn't have to be super precise. It's not the name of the game here. The name of the game is just to kind of make it fit. So let's mark the next section. So it goes fairly quickly. It may seem a little fiddly, but it's not really. I find it quite relaxing. I hope you do too. Now let's check which side of the paper I want this time. I think this is a little more distinct on this side, so let's go this side and make sure we tear it on the side we want. So I can use the top of the front and back of the tag for measuring my height, which is super convenient. Getting some really lovely scraps there. That'll make a good... Um, like a little notepad or something, or covering the back of something else. Okay, putting our little corners here. The trickiest part is these wee corners. Paper doesn't like to tear on that angle quite often. Right, 
Right, let's glue that one down the right way this time. I think I got the other one back to front because I tore it all and then realised I liked the other side and just put the side I preferred up without thinking that I'd actually torn it um, to suit the other direction. So, things to think about before you tear your paper. Choose which way up you want first. So, inked all around it with vintage photo. Go. Oops, getting a bit carried away with my smoothing. Right, last section of the inside. So the inside I'm purely going with uh, the coffee dyed paper. All writing space here. So I'm going to do this one this way. This one's got a funky sort of crease in the middle there. But I'll just glue it down. And therefore, hopefully, it won't be a problem. So I need to go roughly about there. You can tell I'm not being precise. We'll probably need more of that paper. All right, I'm thinking maybe do that lovely grungy bit up the top. Lovely dark coffee staining. So how is everyone today? Hope you're having a brilliant day. I am actually filming this on Monday. I'm trying to get ahead of my videos. And um, we had rain this morning. Heavy, heavy rain actually. And quite cool, hence the, the longer sleeves. But now I've got the fan going because it's really starting to to warm up it's coming up to the hottest part of the day it's half past two right now so the hottest part of the day is typically around 3 p.m and the sun comes around to the side of the house i'm on at about that time as well so it tends to heat up in a hurry and get quite toasty where i am right beside the windows i've got the curtains closed double layer of curtains to help insulate um, but it still gets quite toasty. And there's a covered deck through, it's actually French doors. When I say windows, they're actually French doors. So a covered deck on the other side with um, clear light on, which helps protect against the direct sun. But it still gets toasty. Particularly at the moment, we're having such high temperatures. We're actually finally having a summer, which is good. I've been wanting a proper summer. I wouldn't call it a proper summer entirely, but we're certainly at the moment getting proper summer temperatures. Even the rain this morning, while I say it was cool, it wasn't cold. It was still reasonably warm. I didn't have a jersey or a hoodie or anything on. It was, you know, not that cold. Or well, not cold at all, really. Right. Now, if you don't like the coloured bits here at the top like I've got a page with uh, images on then choose a page that doesn't have images on go with um, either a page with black and white images or a page with just text I don't mind those little splashes of colour I think it adds interest right so we are left with our front our back and our inside inside front so up to you how you choose to decorate um, I'm thinking I want to do the back with coffee dyed paper as well. Got glue stuck on my finger, it's very distracting. So let's do a bit of paper for the back here. So this is going to provide a lot of writing space. good way to maximize your writing space in your journal or to send as a bit of happy mail would be super cool too right. I'm 
tear. Oops, I did not tear that straight. Never mind. You think you've got it straight and the evidence proves you wrong. Or me wrong. Yet again. Sometimes eyeballing goes a bit awry. But there we have it. Right. I didn't even check the side of the paper I wanted down, so I'm pleased that it seems to be the round, round the way I would prefer it. The darker side out, more interest going on. So what have you been up to this week? As it's Monday, it's very early for me, early, early in the week. So my week so far has consisted of recording videos and um, editing videos and some YouTube. So I watch YouTube, other people's channels while I'm having breakfast. And Well, actually, no, not while I'm having breakfast. After breakfast, I'll watch a video and then I watch a video at lunchtime. And then if I've got some downtime where I'm waiting on something or I just need to recharge the batteries a little bit, either the my device's batteries or my batteries, um, then I'll watch a bit more YouTube. Um, so that's kind of how my day rolls, typically. So if I'm not making things and filming videos, then I'm feeding inspiration by watching other creators and supporting them as well as part of supporting the community is watching other people's and giving comments and feedback and likes and all that good stuff and helping their channels succeed. But it's certainly not a selfless act because I get so much out of watching other people's channels because even if we're doing the same thing, we make it completely differently. Uh, different styles, different materials, different little tweaks according to what we've got or what we like. And so you're always learning, which really appeals to me. I would hate to know everything. That would be so boring. Right, so we have, so far, we have four writing areas. Do I want to decorate this or make it writing space? I'm not sure right now, so perhaps we'll concentrate on the front. Bearing in mind, we do have this visible strip here. And I'm wondering about whether I might put some faux washi tape down there. But I think I need to decorate the front first so I know what colour faux washi I want. So let's look at decorating. And I think I'm going to collage. So let's grab out my bag of scraps here. And I harvested a magazine over the weekend. And I've got some really cool, fun bits of magazine. Which could be nice to put on here. Just random bits of backgrounds. Just trying to find them in here, so sorry, I know you can't see. Here's a bit of map. We could use a bit of map. It's not out of a magazine. Uh, come on, where are you? I can. I saw you through the plastic. Now you're playing hidey, hide and seek. Still haven't got the bit I wanted. I'm sure I could see it. Yeah, I can see it. I just can't reach it. Here we go. I have I got it? No. Goodness. Got you. All that for that little scrap of magazine paper. I'm crazy, yep. All in the name of art. Right, don't know if we've got enough, but let's see what we can do with this lot. So I've gone for blues because I, I knew I had a lot of blue from the magazine harvestings. And this bit that I spent so long had all these floral images with weird faces on them. I thought it was actually really creepy. Didn't like it, but this part on the other side which was just 
torn from around there was a focal image here and I just tore the background out I thought was actually really nice so let's just glue that on I think I will use glue stick for this got a nice big new glue page book here so it feels good because it's, it's higher I feel like it's more up in my face which is fine I don't mind that right good layer of glue there I do find that warmer temperatures your glue dries so much quicker and sometimes it dries before you can get the piece on which is a little frustrating at times just want to bring it back from that edge a little bit because I've distressed that edge so might as well utilize that pre-inked edge oh trying to line up my scissors there we go don't know whether I was shaking or what was going on then but I had trouble lining it up did end up going right to the top there so let's just ink that up so I don't forget I probably need to do the whole thing anyway but so I don't know why I'm doing it now I couldn't stop myself right this piece is like this painted graffitied brick wall which I think is beautiful so that's going to look really good just plonked on there yep we're going to plonk we'll be a plonker well, I'm going to be a plonker is that a word you uh, are familiar with plonker or is that a New Zealand word or an English you know um, English nation not English language term meaning someone who's a bit silly and does stupid things I refer to them as a plonker I don't know whether that's a, a regional word or not so in case it's not oh well in case it is rather um, that's kind of what it means or what I understand it to mean calling myself a plonker yep that's how we work here. Just going to put this little bit of map in this bottom corner without the straight edge. I think I want to tear it down even more. I don't want to lose too much of this wall because I think it's so cool. And we'll have a little gap there to fill, which is fine. This one. That glue page is already sticky, so I'm resorting to my tacky glue. Give the page a time to dry out. I also want to try and not use so many glue pages, because I end up getting too many stacked up to turn into journal cards and the like, that I you know, can never get through them all, or throwing them out, and to me that's just a waste, so... If I can not use so many, then I can um, you know, use those pages pristine for something else. Let's pop that there. I like that there. Can we do this with glue stick? Is there a... Kind of looking for a space that isn't too gluey. No, it will be now after this actually I might go over the word Atlantic because I don't really need the word Atlantic there I'll just leave it with an at there we go and we've got a little strip up here do we want to put a little bit of that there why not Again, I think I'll risk the glue pages. Just doing it off to the side, guys. I'm not going to bring it across for that little bit. Save a split second. 
of time. Oops. Yeah. Right. So I'm going to ink that now, which I should have saved and done all together. Right. So faux washi for the side of, down this side. I think it's going to be blue because I've gone with a blue color scheme and I'm very happy because I've used a lot of the scraps that I saved out of the magazine already and it's only been well I did it Saturday and today's Monday so two days since I kept them so using stuff it's got to be good doesn't it right my faux washi let's have a look this is all made out of magazines um, junk mail that type of thing and I did make some more on Saturday when I was harvesting the magazine so I just love making it it's so cool it's fun to make and it's fun to use right so looking for an appropriate blue there's this kind of mechanical looking looks like oh, I don't know some sort of like computer inside or something it's hard to tell I like that down there I like the the darkness of it Just adds a bit of contrast so and rather innocuous otherwise unusable image just becomes fun color and texture so I'm gonna chop it off at the at this point at the bottom of the angle and then I'm going to put another strip along the angle I think that's going to look less weird hardest parts tear, tearing off the back of the double sided tape don't you think Oops, don't stick too soon. Just leaving that little distressed edge a bit there. There we go. And then we'll put another bit along here. There's not enough left to keep, so I'm just going to tear the, take the whole backing off. Oops, if I can keep hold of it, there we go, there we go, so we've lined that whole edge, and this wee snippet of tape, I am going to put in my collage phone book somewhere. Let's just pop it there, and now it's found a home. Okay, so when that closes up, we have this lovely edge down here. Okay, the other thing I want to do is I want to put a little tab on this front cover which is why I wanted it to be inset a little bit and I'm wondering about this cool, this is from the same graffitied wall you could make a whale tail out of that have we got enough room yep, just, just, just tiny little bits left there we had just enough space Let's you could use any tab you like for this. It doesn't need to be a whale tail. I just really enjoy using my whale tail since I was blessed with a whale tail punch. I love any and every opportunity to use it. After wanting one for so long, um, it is such a treasure. So thank you.
thank you to the dear person who gave it to me. Who doesn't want to be named, so I'm not going to name her. But I am forever grateful. Right, what side? I think the blue side rather than the more yellow. And I don't mind if it sticks out past the side of the tag. It doesn't bother me at all, but if you if that would bother you, um, you might want to take this edge in even more than what I have. And you can trim it down, like if you fold it into thirds of what's pleasing widthwise and then you decide that you want this front bit sh narrower, get my words right, then just trim a bit off. Easy. Make it fit what you want is my advice. Right, so let's pop that there. I need a bit of glue on this side too, don't I? Otherwise it's not going to stick down. Like so. So there we go. We've got it peeking over the side of our tag there. And I don't mind that. It just shows that it opens. And it's a fun little interactive uh, addition. Right, so we need a focal image. I have no ideas what I want to put on front. Hmm, what have I got that's big enough is the, probably the crux of it. I'm wondering about my flowers from Artsology, but I, oh no, they're birds. They are not flowers. These would be my flowers from Artsology. Um, I suspect they're not going to be big enough, but we'll, we'll give it a go. Well, actually, we could make it work. looking for height it's got a little bit of blue in it that one's a misprint it's got um, funky colouring Either of these. Kind of like that one because it's got those little little hints of blue. This one's got a little bit of cyan in the background, which could work as well. Hmm, which one do I prefer? Let's go this one. Okay. And to make it work with the height, because obviously it's not tall enough. But we add to it. Sorry, I was half turned away when I was saying that. We can add to it to kind of fill in the space. One of those ways is with a label. So we'll try some labels. I'm working with Labels from Days Gone By, Volume 2. From the junk journal studio and just by kind of arranging and layering we can extend our focal image to make it the whole thing fill up Think a bit of book page as well. Let's go with a bit of Spanish. Spanish text. Oops. That was 
very rough carrying that was. I'm going to just tear down all the blank bits. I'm being so careless with this. It's a big book. It's probably why I'm not being too bothered. Very big novel. All in Spanish. So I'm not being very precious with it. I'll probably get towards the end and think, oh, I wish I'd used it a bit more sparingly. But honestly, it's such a big book. It's going to last me a long time. And all of a sudden, we're starting to fill our space. I think there's a little bit too much of this. I just want to cut that down even more. Actually, do we want to use this really narrow piece? Just have that little... Yeah, I like just the little narrow piece. And we don't need it to go top to bottom, just almost. Okay, and I think I'm going to ink it. I don't know why, I just feel like inking it. Got a little stray here at the end, I'm not sure whether it's piece of the brush come loose or whether it's cat fur. It's probably cat fur since Snuggles was on my desk like 10 or so minutes before I started this video. So it's probably cat fur. And I've adapted my method of inking my brush. I was treating it like a sponge and going like this. I found it's not as efficient as if I brush the brush over the top. I get better ink on my brush by brushing it over the surface of the ink pad and probably gentler on the ink pad as well so if you're a dabber like I was like hitting your ink pad with your brush try brushing it with the brush instead and see what you think see whether it gives a better result or not or whether I'm just being weird which is entirely possible let's face it that is quite on the cards that I'm just being weird Right, I'm going to change out my glue page. Let's go with a new glue page and put some glue on this. I might go right against the spine, then I know where I've put it. Put the glue on the glue page. Right, sorry for reaching under the camera. That's the unavoidable part. Right, let's get this down. a lovely shape to this bit of torn paper which is the benefit of just loosely tearing something without being too precious is you can end up with some really cool shaping so let's do a bit of ink around this as well also the brushing of the ink pad is less noise on the camera as well so I'm not going donk 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 more gentle action. Okay, I am going to use tacky glue for these. Oops. Need the glue on the paper, not on my fingers. I get enough on my fingers. Don't need any more unnecessarily. Putting that fairly close up to it where the angle is, the tag top there. Oops, almost glued my flower under it. Right, give this some ink as well. It has got a, um, a brownish background on it, so it's not absolutely necessary to ink it, but I still like to give it a bit of ink. that little framing there we go I'm 
I did say these flowers were from Artsology, didn't I? I think I did, but just in case I didn't, these flowers are available from Artsology on Etsy. A really wonderful set. Very useful. Go put our lovely flower down there. Right, what else do we want? I'm thinking we don't really need much else, except maybe a little bit of stamping. Totally unnecessary, really. I'm just kind of like, I think I would like it, so let's do it. Just looking for a stamp to use. I want with wood grain. And I think just in black. But I am going to use my older ink pad, which isn't as dark and as inky. So it will just be black but it will be a little subtler than my new ink pad I like these dots they're supposed to be snow but I just like them as dots texture put it on a little block there Yep, so just not getting a heap of ink on there. It was a little darker there because the background was a bit darker. Here we go. Just a few little touches. ink pad seems juicier now because I haven't been using it. I've been using my new one so it seems to be darker probably because it's had time to sit and just think about its behaviour how it's not giving me the the depth of black that I wanted now it's going ha ha I'm going to be really dark now because you haven't used me I'm going to teach you aren't I being utterly ridiculous as if stamps have a mind of their own Right, okay, I'm happy with that. I think we've we've covered that. So now just this inside one. So we do have lots of writing space already. We could... This is another scrap of magazine paper, which I've just really liked. I haven't got enough of the blue bits left. Um, or do I want let's put the birds away because I didn't mean to grab the birds out and they're in my way now I know there's birds in there but it's not labelled and sometimes I just grab it thinking it's what I want and it's like uh, no how are we going on time Oh, we're, we're eating the time. Hope you were hungry because we're eating it. <laughs> I am being so silly today. So silly. I think I'm just going to do coffee dyed paper. Just keep it simple. And I want to come in from my tape, my decorative tape. I should have perhaps waited and not put the tape on until I had decided what I was doing, but never mind. Can't always do things in the perfect order. And we can still work around it. So we've 
we've ended up using most of that piece, double piece of um, grid paper, which is interesting. And I just want to get this corner so we can see where I put that tape. Oops, I think I need to didn't tear very well so let's just use our scissors oh my phone just tanged I obviously forgot to put it on do not disturb yes I think that's going to work well so yep I've got the right side up that's good too late if I didn't we just have to go with it I haven't actually heard from my husband all day, so I assume that's my husband. And because I haven't heard, normally I'd hear from him at like morning tea and lunch time. And I haven't heard either of those times, and it's now afternoon tea time, so he must have had it, been having a very busy day. I know there was a couple of staff members away today. One I was coming back after five weeks off, and two others were away so and it's that time of year where people are kind of getting back to work and starting to order stuff again and so it does tend to and deliveries are arriving so it does tend to be a busy time of year for them right there we go so we have done our coffee dyed paper we've still got our decorative strip down here which then shows when we close this so there we have a little trifold tag with a bunch of writing room like look how much writing room there is why don't we add some more stamping uh, more feature stamping I guess where's my stamps where have I put them I've got a new set of stamps and I thought I could use them because I haven't used them yet. I don't know where I've put them. Give me a second. No, I cannot see where I've put them. That's ridiculous. They were literally on my desk like half an hour ago. Where did I put them? Snuggles, did you steal my stamps? Oh, as I was asking her, looking at her, I saw them. I put my phone on top of them. I'm so silly. Why don't we give these a test wheel? These are brand new stamps that I haven't tested yet. Um look like how do I even get into them oh gosh these packets are death traps the plastic is so dangerous you know that type of plastic that you can cut yourself on as easy as blink I don't know why they have to make things in this well I know why they make it in this type of plastic because it's very protective but then they make it almost impossible to get into and it's got tape on it as well, which is not helping. There we go. Now we've got sticky bits everywhere. I have a feeling these are not going to stay in that container. Because I can't go through that every time I want to use a stamp. Right, I am going to use navy for my stamping. And I do want to test run. So my glue page here, I'm just going to fold the sticky bit inside and what do we, so we've got a flower, so we could go with anything because there's bugs, a bird and flowers and leaves, we could use any of them, all of them, um, just want to start with a flower, let's see what it stamps like first I'm not going to stamp it on my project in case it's like not great they weren't expensive stamps so 
you know, it's entirely possible that they're not going to be terrific. Let's give it a wee test. Oh, I like it. Yes, that's fine. That stamps beautifully. Just down in this corner. Very clean. My wet wipe is not wet, so it's not doing a great job. Um, let's do a butterfly. Because, you know, who can go past a butterfly? Again, I'm going to test it. Cause just because one works well doesn't mean they're all going to work well. Good as gold. Just a way of decorating up the inside a little bit and let's do an upside down butterfly like it's flying onto our page. There we go. I need to really grab out a proper wet wipe but anyway that'll do for now while I'm on camera. Um, I might not put them back so I remember to clean them. Okay, over here, let's do some leaves, shall we? Let's try out the leaves. Every one that I use, I'm going to test first just to make sure that it's going to be nice. Yep. Whoops, I mucked that one up a little bit. I um, got a bit of ink on the edge, but in mind, it's fine. It's just a little bit. Okay, and I'm just going to flip it over in case the ink is not dry. So that it doesn't, like, fold in on itself. So, over here, how about a ladybug? The ladybug was one of the clinches of why I bought the set. Because I thought, how cute. Cute as a little ladybug. Cute indeed. Very simple style of stamp. But I don't mind that. Right. Over there, I think. Oops, and I again got some ink there, so I need to pay more attention. That's alright, just add some more texture to the page. Right, for our last one, do we want to do a daisy? I think we do. We could use any of them. Any of them would be fantastic. Can't grab my test sheet back again. The ink doesn't seem to be wanting to stick terribly well to the stamps, but it seems to be stamping okay. Yeah, certainly no problem with how it's stamping. Right, so let's go to the top again. Let's go up this corner. Lovely. Cool. So I'm happy with those stamps. I've still got four left to test, but looking at how those ones have done, I think they're all going to be fine. So we've just added a little bit of stamping just to decorate those up a little bit more. Super cute. I am happy with that. So there's my idea of just playing around with a large book page. So, like an encyclopedia or something that you wouldn't otherwise have a use for, turn it into a trifold tag. You could add a little something at the top if you want, bearing in mind you have got multiple openable layers, which is why I went with a side tab. 
but you could tie a bit of string or something just in the top of the front piece perfectly well or staple on a bit of fabric or something in fact do I have anything how are we going on time we've got a couple of minutes have I got something in my little dish that we could just I mean, this denim would work but I've put um, little gemstones on it a little bit of blue lace oh it's torn um, oh what about this a little bit of satin fabric let's trim that down we don't need a big piece let's straighten off that edge and keep that little snippet can probably use that in something I do like having this glass dish on my desk for my scraps, but I'm very worried that one day I'm going to break it. Right, grab out my stapler. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the edges just to hold it in place. Two edges. Oops. And staple. Here we go. So we've got a little tab at the top as well. Um, I did it more just to show you that you could rather than I actually wanted to. Um, but I don't mind it either. I think, you know, it just adds, adds an extra little element. Lots of writing space. Great to tuck in a pocket, could even go in a belly band, would work really well as well because it's a nice, nice size. Okay guys, thanks for joining me, I hope you enjoyed this project. Uh, let me know if you make one or give it a go, um, I'd love to see. Thanks for joining me, take care everybody and I'll see you soon. Bye.